Hello, thank you for being with me today. I am Ana Heredia, I am Argentinian and I am based in Brazil. I will be sharing with you uh, briefly what ORCID is and what it does. ORCID is an acronym for Open Researcher and Contributor Identifier, meaning that not only researchers may benefit from having an ORCID ID, but anyone involved in scholarly activities. Precisely, uh, ORCID's vision is a world who, uh, where all who participate in research, scholarship and innovation are uniquely identified and connected to their contributions and affiliations across time, disciplines and borders. This is great, but how to achieve this identification uh, and trusted connections if the data and metadata are not good or validated? ORCID wants to solve the problem of people's name ambiguity in digital research information, as this is a major problem in data management. As a concrete example of this problem, a recent study shows that from the 6 million authors present in a major citation and abstracts database, more than two thirds share a last name and an initial with another author. If we add to this equation the researcher's high mobility behavior, it is very hard for institutions to have good data and metadata on their research activities to know who they are and how they are doing for establishing scientific policies and for demonstrating the impact of research. This normally means a lot of manual curation. So this is where ORCID uh, enters the scene. ORCID started as an organization in, 2000, in 2012. Uh, it's a non-for-profit organization. It cannot be sold. Um, ORCID is committed to open research. In fact, it, uh, it is already part of the open infrastructure uh, for research. ORCID is supported by its members um, and it's driven by and for the scientific community through a, a board that is elected and that is um, rotating. We are a small organization. We have a staff of 37 people from 13 countries. We work remotely since the beginning. And on the right side, you can see uh, some characteristics of the ORCID identifier, which is the solution brought by ORCID or proposed by ORCID to solve the name ambiguity problem. So the ORCID ID is an open, unique and persistent identifier uh, it has 16 alphanumeric digits, digits and it's um, uh, compatible, compliant to the ISO 27729 standard. It is presented as a URI, as a link. It's free for individuals, it's portable, meaning that uh, the researcher can uh, take his ORCID, her ORCID to everywhere. Um, and uh, the ORCID ID is, belongs to the, to the researcher. And it is a, a multidisciplinary registry of uh, all the activities of the researcher. So in terms of ORCID adoption, a little bit of numbers, you can see how ORCID is being adopted in many countries and regions. So in the map, you can see the countries where we have consortia, which is, um, uh, an agru a, group, uh, um, a group of five or more organizations uh, that um, get together to form a consortium. And this is represented here by the countries in green. The countries in blue, blue are the countries where we have members but not yet consortia. So at the moment, um, we have um, more than a thousand members in more than 50 countries. The majority of these members are universities. Uh, and from these members, we have, as a result, uh, 930 integrations. What is an achievement for us is the number of ORCID IDs that grew exponentially since 2012 until this year. Now we have more than 10 million uh, and a half ORCID IDs around the, the world. So this uh, this circle represents our mantra, uh, which is enter once, reuse often, which is also the interoperability concept. And what 
enter one's views often means entering an ORCID ID by signing into your ORCID account and granting permissions to the organizations you interact with. And um, this is what we would like to achieve. So researchers should enter their ORCID IDs once, uh, uh, once only once to the systems they connect to, can be the university system, can be their funder system or their publisher system. And that ID can be then used throughout the research workflows in, this organi in these organizations. So this infographic shows at a high level how by integrating ORCID IDs into system, into systems in all the research uh, community workflows, we can together enable, enable this interoperability between different systems helping make this enter one we use often a reality for researchers and their organizations. So uh, universities uh, represent today 71% uh, of the total integrations that we have from our members and the uh, publishers represent the second um, in the ranking with 13% of the total integrations with the public, uh, with the ORCID API. So um, how organizations and research, researchers benefit? So in a nutshell, uh, what ORCID does is to support transparency, trust, reuse, visibility and interoperability in research information and being uh, a key player for better data and metadata in research. Here, um, I leave you with uh, some uh, studies made by uh, countries that are uh, ORCID members, whose, uh, which um, funding agencies are ORCID members. And here you can see how they um, uh, show the uh, institutional value of, uh, of uh, implementing ORCID uh, at a national level in, in terms of time and staff savings. Uh, you have examples here in the UK, Portugal and Australia. So to finish with, I would like to uh, share with you three ways to get involved. First of all, encourage and support researchers in getting, sharing and using their ORCID IDs uh, for the organizations to invest in integrated ORCID into their systems and also to connect data to and from uh, the researchers or ORCID records to support information use and reuse across organizations. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you soon.